Good afternoon. This is the Spooky Lock Picker. I'm here today to talk to you about what might be my least favorite lock on the planet. This hateful little thing is a Schlage F-Series key and knob lock. Why do I dislike it so much? Well, let's open it up and I'll show you. I'll be attacking this lock with this triple peak rake from Sparrows, this no-name hook, and this wiper style Z-Bar. If you're drinking along at home, I'm enjoying a classic wet martini. To make that, you mix one part dry vermouth with three parts gin. Depending on how skilled a spar you are, you then either shake it or stir it with ice and strain it into a cocktail glass. Garnish with an olive. Let's bring out the vice and get started. All right, let's get started by raking this. There we go. That's that easy. Uh, barely any harder than opening it with the key. And for good measure, let's try to uh, single pick it, a uh, single pin pick it as well. This is going to be a little bit more difficult than the. Uh, in the raking, but not too bad. I just got clicks out of the first three and onto four and five back there. The problem here is this lock just does not give good feedback. don't think we're actually setting them in the back. There it is. All right, as you could tell, that is not the easiest thing, largely because, largely because it just doesn't give good feedback. Uh, Let's go ahead and get this thing taken apart and uh, I'll show you what's going on inside. Now you can't see it, but there is a little button you press right down here. Uh, the key has to be turned or has to be picked to press that in and then you can just pull the front off and we don't need any of that anymore. And then inside here, we've got the cylinder. And we're done with that. Now, let's see. I do have the key. So that'll make things a little easier. Let's uh, get down here a little bit. And all right, so what makes this uh, F-Series special? It looks like a fairly normal cylinder, except you might notice that Bible's a little strange. And uh, in fact, it compresses down, and that's what allows it to actually fit in the uh, doorknob. It's a pretty clever little mechanism, but it does make uh, picking it a little bit more difficult and not in a good way. All right, let's go ahead and get this clip off of here. If any luck, it won't go flying. There we go. Let's go ahead and get the pinning tray out. All right, now, there are followers with cutouts to fit this uh, football-shaped piece. I don't have one of those, so we're just going to have to be careful to keep the widest part in line with that Bible so we don't end up accidentally dropping things out. And all right, what's hanging up? Okay, let's uh, do the other direction just for fun. There we go. All right, let's dump these key pins. These are all 
going to be standard. Uh, go ahead and tell me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I am not aware of any stock Schlaglock that uses uh, any kind of special fanciness on the key pins and on the drivers. These are all going to be special T pins, which, you know, you might be tempted to say, hey, that's pretty awesome. Uh, a stock Schlage using T pins and, and all special pins, no standard drivers inside? Well, you'd think that, but they're not, they're weird. Uh, show you how they work here in a second once I get everything out of here but the long and short of it is that the springs come on buddy the springs actually go around the end of that t-pin here there we go springs actually go around the end of that t-pin and then there's also a little divot in the top of the Bible. And those work together to keep that spring in place when that compresses. And it's real clever. But what ends up happening here is that spring ends up getting pinched in the shear line when you're picking. Which wouldn't necessarily be so bad, except, let's put it this way, uh, that could make for a very challenging pick on a well-made challenge lock, something like that. Uh, but you saw how quickly and easily I was able to rake into that this lock, and that's because we've got a uh, cheap cast uh, plug and a body here. So we've got very, very, very poor tolerances for a schlage. Uh, which lets us rake into it almost e instantly. And these springs and T-pins give us a little bit of trouble when we're single pin picking, but ultimately it just uh, ends up feeling crunchy, uh, almost like a 20-year-old master lock. Uh, you know, it's, it's challenging and unpleasant to pick, but not in, not in a fun way, in an unpleasant way so yeah I just really don't like these uh, you know they are in my opinion just junk uh, but you know if you disagree if you like these a lot then uh, yeah tell me about them in the comments or if you agree that these are just the devil and just no fun at all to pick uh, you can tell me about that too and you know if you like this go ahead and like and Subscribe, and until next time, you have a great day. Problem here is this lock just does not give good feedback.